On Rhyme Time tonight, I am standing in the queue with Kumi Naidu. How's it Hi. going? Nice to, Hi. nice to see you. Uh, the new director of Greenpeace International, I believe. Yes. And what were you doing before then? You've been doing this stuff for a very long time, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've been involved in social justice work since I was uh, four, f uh, 15. And uh, I got involved in the anti-apartheid struggle. Uh, my first big campaign was protesting against apartheid education. Didn't know fully much politics then. For example, we had a slogan in our, my first march at the front of the slogan. The slogan was, we want equality. By the time the slogan traveled to the back of the march, it was, we want a color TV. <laughs> just, just to keep in with the rhyme uh, uh, hey, message. Good one, good one. Yeah. Our political system has known about this problem for you know 30 years or something and has spectacularly failed in the sense that we are now right at the end of the time when we could still prevent utter catastrophe. And you know it looks like in two days' time they're going to fail to get a good deal. Um, if they do, what do you think? How do you think the citizens of the world should respond? Should we just continue and you know all run over the cliff together, or or is it time for something more more radical? Well, the reality is time is running out. The reality is that climate change impacts are not going to happen tomorrow. It's happening now. We are losing 300,000 people every year from climate-related impacts. We know that conflict is on the rise as a result of climate change. People, when they look at Darfur, for example, they just think that genocide is really about uh, only ethnic issues. Yeah. But they forget that Lake Chad, which was neighboring yeah. Darfur, was one of the largest inland seas, which is virtually dried up. Yeah. Uh, and so we need to recognize that we are in a moment where we don't have time to play with. Yeah. You know, Tony Blair, I was on a panel with him the other day, goes on about don't let uh, perfect be the enemy yeah. of the good. Well. The good has to be good, yeah. it's not good, yeah. but more importantly, perfect, we passed that point long 70s, ago. Yeah. yeah, 30 years ago we yeah. passed that point. Exactly. Had we acted then, yeah. that would have been perfect. So now we're playing catch up. Yeah. Unfortunately, for some communities it's too late. Yeah. The question is whether now we can actually act with the urgency that can save the majority of people yeah. on this planet and secure the future of our children and grandchildren. I mean, even the word catch up, I think, is a little bit mild. It's more like rescue or rescue. emergency or something like that, isn't it? I agree. I find it quite pathetic that, that it is pathetic that these leaders, many of whom are parents, grandparents yeah. and so on, uh, act with the absence of urgency that the situation calls for. Unless we actually engage in strong actions, visible actions that on the one hand highlight the issue, but on the other hand, put real pressure on our leaders, sadly they don't act. And history teaches us, whether it's the civil rights movement in the US, whether it was the anti-colonial movement in India, led by Gandhi, uh, the anti-apartheid movement and so on, it's only when decent men, women and young people say enough is enough and no more, yeah. and stand up and say I'm prepared to put my life in the line, I'm prepared to take risk, yeah. I'm prepared to go to prison, that's uh, sadly the only time we get progress. Just picking up, last question. I'm sure you've heard about our 10-10 campaign. Yes. Cutting 10%, have you signed up? Uh, actually, I'm not a citizen in the UK. I don't no, know. you don't have to be, global oh. citizen. Okay, well, just moving from Joburg to Amsterdam and the change of lifestyle that I'm already about to implement yeah. by getting a bike and so on, uh, I will exceed the 10% okay. cut in carbon emissions. Sadly, the one thing is the nature of the job requires me to travel, yeah. you know, internationally. So As Green director of Greenpeace, I think that's a, those yeah. are the kind of flights that uh, yeah. should, be, should be allowed. Uh, let me give you a 10-10 tag. Around your wrist or around your neck? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.